Welcome back everyone to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me today. And as you can see here, I've got a lot of new toys in. As you guys maybe could tell, those boxes in there have already been opened. And I've actually already got the mount set up just to the right of me right here. But uh, just a little bit of background first. So I bought the Skywatcher Star Adventure about a year ago roughly, give or take. And uh, I absolutely love that little mount. As a sky tracker, it's fantastic and I plan on continuing to use it really for doing uh, time lapses and more wide angle stuff. But uh, not long after getting it, I kind of realized you know, I needed something a little bit more of a solid foundation because I realized that I was wanting to get much deeper into deep sky astrophotography than, than the Sky Adventure would let me. And I'm really excited to say that I finally made that upgrade. with the Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro. Now I decided on this mount for a handful of reasons. One being the history of it. This mount's been around for quite a long time now and there's been hundreds of thousands of people just saying how much they love this mount, how reliable it is, and it's just a great mount to begin with. I wasn't sold on the new Skywatcher EQM35 because for one, it's, it's new, you know, it's not really proven technology yet. And two, it's not a mount that I could really grow with. With the HEQ5 here, I can definitely upgrade my scope a few times probably, and this mount still treat me really well. And I decided against the EQ6R Pro because it's just, it's kind of too much for me right now, and if I re really do want to stick with astrophotography for that long, then that mount will be a nice step up in the future for me. But for the time being, I think uh, budget-wise and everything, the HEQ5 is a perfect place for me. A few things with the mount right off hand. It's a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. As you can see here, it's significantly bigger than the Skywatcher Star Adventure. Now I knew it was going to be bigger, but whenever I first opened up the box, I was kind of surprised really by the size, which isn't a bad thing. As for the weight of it really, the tripod itself is actually surprisingly light, and the actual mount itself is you know, somewhat light too. It, the main thing is it's kind of awkward to carry around, so I'm planning on getting a carrying case for it. Really the main thing is the counterweights. And actually the counterweights at first kind of surprised me by their weight. At first I thought I was afraid I was going to have to get like a lighter weight counterweight just to offset my lightweight gear that I have now. But I think I've kind of got it figured out to the point where uh, the counterweight, the 11 pound counterweight is going to work. I decided to push it all the way up to the top of the counterweight shaft for the time being. And along with this mount, as you can see, I bought these tube rings here to attach the William Optics Z61 to. And you can also see that I bought this William Optics Vixen mount plate that just matches my telescope. I kind of like to have cordite and covers, really. And you can also see here my power supply that I bought along with this mount. Now, power supplies were something that confused me for a very long time. I read and read and read on what kind of power supplies to use for the mount. And a lot of people was recommending deep cycle marine batteries, which that's almost the route that I went with. But whenever it comes with like amps and boats and things like that, you know, I, I don't really like to play around with that kind of stuff because it's just something I'm not familiar with. So I decided to go with the Celestron Power Tank 17 here. This is the big version of the Power Tank. It's the one that's got the built in AM, FM radio. It's something I thought would be kind of cool to have out, you know, on the field whenever I'm setting everything up. And uh, so far, it's powered this map beautifully. I've not actually used the mount yet. I actually just got everything put together just this morning. And as you can see, we have nothing but clouds, and there's nothing but clouds around the forecast for the next five or six days or so. I'm so excited to start using this mount. I know the first clear night that we have here, I'm planning on getting it out. Um, I've still got a lot of learning to do with it, obviously. I've got to learn about, you know, uh, one, two, and three star alignments and things like that. So guys, as always, thank you so, so much for hanging around here with me. And if you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe down below. And be sure to also hit the bell icon. That way you don't miss out whenever I upload a new video. So guys, as always, clear skies to all of you. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy. Bye.